Hi, this is my 1968 V35A Experimental Bonanza. It has a uh, TIO 541 turbocharged 380 horsepower motor in it. Dual electronic ignition with EMAG. These are 200 series 6X magnetos. And I'm gonna attempt to uh, share how uh, the magnetos are timed and verifying the uh, timing of the magnetos. Very simple process. It's an incredible product, incredible company that uh, just to uh, share my experiences with them have provided tons of support and are always there to answer the telephone. So thank you out to EMAG for providing such a great product and uh, great customer support. A couple things about the 200 series before we get started. Uh, the 200 series has a manifold pressure sensor. Uh, this is the uh, electronic input uh, cannon plug to the magneto. We'll use that today because I'm timing these with uh, without an extra person. So that'll be the way we turn the magneto on and off. On the Lycoming motors, our timing is off the flywheel. And you'll see inside of here, I've marked some timing marks on the flywheel. I've already centered the number one cylinder to top dead center. There is the top dead center mark right there. And in the light combing, it happens to coincide with this little dot or hole, but that's how they figured out in, in the light combing. You'll notice uh, some other marks. This is the advanced timing mark. This is the 20 degrees before top dead center. And I'm not sure the video will make it out very good, but on this light combing motor, uh, they have a 20 degree mark and a 25 degree mark. And how you know what your manufacturer setting is, is gonna be off your data plate. On the data plate, it'll give you some basic information, but it's gonna talk about, in this instance, it's gonna mention 20 degrees before top dead center. So that's typically on a traditional Magneto, that's where they're gonna set up for firing. And if you had a retarded spark for, for start, um, it'll retard that spark to give you a, a better start performance. In the electronic ignition, it's gonna do all that internally, so it doesn't have a, uh, a method to, or a mechanical device to re retard the spark. So that's just some basics on the flywheel and how we set that up. I also wanted to mention that uh, in their manual is a good picture of what we just looked at. And here is a copy of that diagram. And you'll see the white mark, max, is your max advanced timing. In this case, it's gonna be manufactured setting at nine degrees before the blue mark, which is the 20 degrees before top dead center. And then you have the yellow mark, which is top center. Top center is important because that is the orientation for the magneto. So once we get the magneto mounted, one of the first items we're gonna do is set the number one cylinder up to top center and then we're gonna confirm, and we're gonna set the magnetos, we're gonna turn them on, and we're gonna set them for top center. And we'll go through all that process here in a second. A couple other things that we wanted to talk about is on each engine, if you're doing an individual setup, you need to know which direction the magneto is timing or turning. Uh, 
Typically, lycomines are uh, clockwise rotation. Okay, so the way my crankcase, each crankcase is gonna be a little bit different, so you have to go into your uh, manuals to find out. Uh, EMAG also provides a simple way of doing it, is just to turn the propeller in the direction that it's supposed to turn, and you can see which way the magneto actually turns. So uh, that's probably the simplest method, and it's a, probably the best way to verify that you're reading the charts right. Another way is in the overhaul manual, I, I know in the Lycoming, it actually tells me which direction the gear is turning, but uh, again, the simplest method is the, the way EMAG does it, which is verifying the direction if you turn the propeller. So that's gonna play into how we set up the Magneto. So uh, the way they'll come from EMAG is set up usually for standard rotation. Um, in this case, this is gonna be a red Magneto, the way it's gonna come from EMAG. And then I'm on my other side of my crankcase is my right Magneto, and it is counterclockwise. So it turns into what we call a green magneto. So uh, after we get uh, everything mounted and ready to go, one of the first items you're going to do is turn on your your switches. And in my case, what I want to do is turn on, make sure that the circuit breakers are in for my magnetos and I want to make sure that the in my ignition switch that is in the off position and there's several ways you can set up emags you can set it up with switches or you can use your traditional turnkey scenario so however you actually do set it up will determine what switches have to be turned on to do the test. What you don't want to do is have the ignition hot while you're doing the test. So in my case, the start key is going to be in the off position, and all I, all I have to do is turn the batteries on. And in that case, the magneto is cold. It will not be firing but I will get power to the magneto so I can test the timing. So it will not fire, and, and um, that way I won't damage the coil inside of the uh, electronic ignition. So anyway, so it looks like we're just about ready to get started here. So what I did is made sure my ignition switch is in the off position, and then I'm going to just turn my battery switch on and you'll notice that uh, I've already got these timed they talk about when you turn the magneto on it goes to through a flash mode and let's see if I can do that real quick to demonstrate that for you you'll that's the battery switch off now I'm going to turn it on you're going to see it Blink white, in that case it went red, and then it goes solid green. And my other magneto, the other side, flashes green, and then goes solid green. Okay, so now we know the direction of the magnetos is correct, which I've already verified. And now we're gonna go through the timing marks. So, if you were setting up top center, you would find top center on your flywheel and that's going to be this mark on my flywheel lined up with that hole and so I'm going to come back and now I'm going to move in the direction of propeller turn should get a tone here in a second See if I can get the camera just right for you. And you'll hear a tone in the background. OK. 
okay? And they're gonna go to yellow. This is the right mag. And I've already timed these, so they're both going off at the same time. So to do this right, what I did is I checked them both first and I found one that was closer uh, to top center that I, I wanted. Um, well, let me back up a little bit. You have to set top center. So to set top center, you're going to turn power off of the magneto. And when you do it by yourself, the way you do it is with this uh, cannon plug. So you disconnect the cannon plug. Now there's no power going to it. I disconnect the other one as well so that we only do this one at a time. So once the cannon plug is disconnected, now I push the button and keep pushing it. And then I dis or reconnect the power and you'll see uh, a light come on and then it's gonna go solid blue. And when it goes solid blue, you can let go. And then you'll see it kind of like an intermittent blue and then push again and hold it for six seconds. And during that six seconds, you'll see this light flicker, kind of yellow, orangish. And it keeps going until it stops and you'll see it go white and then dark. Then you can release the button. And then you'll see It'll go solid yellow, just like it is right now. Or, well, it's kind of a, a mix, but it is yellow. Okay. Hopefully the video does it justice right there. So now top center is set for one of the magnetos. So the next step I do is I keep timing just the one magneto at a time. So we're going to come over here. And now we're going to verify the factory setting for blue. And blue is the 20 degree mark. You can get a better picture of it now. You can kind of see the factory mark. There's 25 and there's 20. And I put a magic marker there. And now we're gonna go backwards. And I'm gonna go past it. And I wanna make sure I get some of the slop out of the gearing. So I wanna go past a little bit. And now I'm gonna bring the propeller in the direction of turn. And here comes the blue mark. Now you hear a change in tone possibly on the, in your video here. That's just a warning shot to tell you that it's coming up. You'll see it's solid green. Let's see if I can hold the video while I turn the prop. Tone stops. Now I'm just gonna bump it, the prop in the direction. There it goes to blue. You see it go to blue? Now, that should be our factory 20 degree mark. And if I could show the video, I don't know if I can, I don't think I can show it the way I can see it in real life, but it lines up perfectly with that little hole. And if you read your manual, the way to reset it, if it wasn't just right, um, the first if it wasn't just perfect, the first thing I would do is double check your top center timing is perfect. If you don't like the way the top center is going, redo it until you get top center exactly where you want it to be. And then it should be right at 20 degrees, which this, this is. But if you had to reset it for whatever reason, you would with it flashing blue right now, you would push and hold the button and you would bump to where you want it and then you would release the button and that should reset the blue setting, okay? So now we've got top center set, we've got blue set and again at the factory, the EMAG is already set up for the advanced timing the max of nine degrees. In this case, that's this mark, okay? And so I'm just going to, uh, again, I want to take out the slop. Okay, so I go against the direction of normal flow. Now the gearing should be reasonable. Now I'm going to come forward. 
Come to the blue, we're going to get a tone. Oops, let's go back again. There's the tone. I did it too fast, but anyway, there's a momentary tone. Right now, it should be uh, green. Let's just verify that. Sure enough, it's green. Now we're going to, that was, so we went past top center. Here comes blue. You'll hear a tone. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. That's, that's why. There we go. I gotta come back. Now we go in the direction of flow. We took out the slop. Now, white uh, is a little harder to do because there's no warning tone. So right now you see this is green, okay? This is more of a verification because I, I really don't, you don't need to adjust this, but you can fine tune it later. But all I had to do was bump the prop a little bit and it turned white. So all I did was take my hand like that until it turned white. Now we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna verify that I'm nine degrees before top center, or before the blue mark. So in the light combing case, it was kind of easy because this is 20, this is 25, so we know that's five degrees, right? So if you just took five degrees of equal, it would be just before the black line, so I knew that was four degrees. So that makes that nine degrees before the 20. So in layman's terms, technically we're firing 29 degrees before top center. And that's what gives that spark longer time to ignite the fuel and to maximize the energy out of the fuel. And that's what's going to create a lot of efficiency. It's going to burn better. Everything about it's going to be better. So that's it for the timing. The last step is going to be to shut off the power. To the magnetos. And then the last step would be to re-put the cap that covers the push button back on. And then I use just a little bit of red RTV just to make sure they don't backslide out of the hole um, and get contaminated in there or accidentally somebody push it, that kind of thing, and so on. Uh, while we're on it, uh, you can use flexible lines for your manifold pressure. That's probably the simplest method. Uh, for me, just the way my arrangement was, it made more sense to do this, um, and so on. Well, I think that should summarize it, and um, I look forward to comments in the comment section. Uh, I'm sure there will be, and uh, I can do nothing but recommend EMAG. If you're using traditional magnetos, you're behind the times. It's uh, a safer arrangement. Your engine starts better. If you were to have a problem or whatever, I have a lot more confidence that I will get that engine restarted. Um, it's a stronger spark, more efficient. Just everything about it makes a lot more sense. And the way this product is designed and the simplicity of how to time it I'm just very impressed, and uh, thank you again. Shout out to uh, the EMAG crew for, uh, for advancing what we all uh, care about. Thank you.